That's a that's an intriguing question and a very thought-provoking one. I've given that a lot of thought, and it seems to me it boils down to three levels. Um, those who have negative expectations and perceptions, those who uh, get what they think they're paying for, and those that are overly optimistic about what they're getting and frankly brag about it. The first is, um, is probably the most interesting because uh, it involves our warranty, which is money-back guarantee, which we've run for now 35 years. We've had uh, three such incidents, two of them being the um, power settings of uh, the torque while operating at our reduced cruise RPM. And those occurred back in the 80s before we um, published cruise data with torque and, uh, and other data, field data and so on, so they could properly uh, set their power. Both of those retained their propellers uh, after proper explanation and goaded us into coming yeah. up with a flight manual supplement that covered that portion of it in addition to the takeoff and landing. <clears throat> the third one was from uh, an owner who bought our exhaust stack fairings and uh, asked for his money back and we gave it and including in repairing his holes in his nacelle, which we did, uh, and then come to find out the reason he wanted his money back is because he had wanted to go buy exhaust stacks from someone else that looked sexier. So that part was fine. Those are the three. 35 years, $268 million worth of sales, 3,400 airplanes, not too bad. The second is a group of people who think they're getting exactly what they're paying for. And in that case, Many of those, frankly, uh, have never flown anything else but Raysbeck equipped King Airs. They've been out so long, their fathers probably were flying them before them. And they just naturally feel that that's part of the airplane. They enjoy what they're getting, and because we are typically conservative in our, in our uh, performance estimates, uh, they expect what they read in the flight manual and what they read in our brochures to be correct. I call those happy campers. Then there's the third uh, who expect and, and uh, perceive that they got more than we offer. And I'm hesitant to discourage them, but um, when I can, I try to tell them the truth just so we don't have to someday uh, Eat a quotation that might be attributed to us for too much performance. I mean, we do publish the data, it is conservative, but um, you know, after all, there's only so much juice in this orange. This is a fun program, so submit your questions to King Air Nation. We'll pick one and do it again next month. Thank you.